Today I want to talk about the best cooking methods that you can use to ensure that you minimize nutrient loss when cooking. I'm also going to show you a couple things about how to store your food and some of the best and fastest ways to cook your food while you're out relaxing after work or taking a shower after your workout and the food practically cooks itself. Alright, let's go check it out. Well first of all this is our cutting board here which is what every kitchen should have. Uh, as you can see here I have already chopped up some vegetables. Now this has taken me chopping up these vegetables and then also cleaning and washing these greens here. It took me about 10 minutes and most of the time was spent on peeling and cutting the garlic. So now when you cut your vegetables they're going to start losing nutrients so you're going to want to either store them away to use them that same day or the day after or you're going to want to use them to cook immediately. If you wait too long they're going to lose their nutrients and their vitamins, antioxidants and mineral potency. As you can see here I have some Tupperware and this is what I keep all my produce in in the refrigerator. Now if you look in here you see I got some oh, shadow. I got some onions, some peppers, I got some shards, some spinach and some kale and these things stay really fresh in the Tupperware and also when it's time to cook I can just pull these out of the refrigerator and it saves me a lot of time. So here we got some chopped greens here we're going to make some steamed greens with. Super easy to do. Let's go ahead and take a quick look at my refrigerator and see what kind of food I am working with these days. As you can see there's not much there, right? Okay, so I got a little bit of fruit, some eggs, some milk, some water, I see a package of fish right there, some cheese. Um, here is where the majority of my food can be found. Outside of vegetables, let's go up here to the cabinet. And as you can see here, I got my brown rice, and then on the shelf just above it, I got beans, all kinds of beans, lentils, split peas, and just some salt, pepper, and I use grape oil. First, let's go ahead and steam some vegetables because steaming is best for your food in terms of not losing nutrients. So we'll go ahead and put this basket of mixed greens over here. All I have to do is pour in a little bit of water and then close it. Turn it on and set it on steam and then look, see the timer comes on, it's blinking five, so in about five or ten minutes this is going to be ready. Alright, so I got some wild caught rockfish here and I usually like to buy wild caught fish, food, fish not raised on a farm and not being fed GMO uh, soy or grain pellets as their food. Wild caught animals usually have higher nutrient value and taste much better. So let's go ahead and get this ready. What I do is I take my prepped vegetables here and I just add them to the pan. So let's go ahead and add these to the pan over here. And then I'll come back and show you how it goes. Voila! And just like that, it is magic. So I put my vegetables in this pan here. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of grapeseed oil over the top of that. And then I'm going to add some spices. So I'll add, of course, some salt here. I'll put some pepper and some of these other spices and then once I'm done with that I'm gonna lay the fish over the bed of these vegetables and put it in the oven. Alright so I'm done seasoning the fish I have the wild caught rockfish now laying on the bed of vegetables grapeseed oil and seasoning and I have preheated my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit and I'll go ahead and put it in the oven now and we shall see what happens when it comes out. This thing should be ready in about, I want to say, 10 to 15 minutes. All right, let's see how it comes out. All right, I'm going to go ahead and start up my beans now. I had these soaking overnight. But first, I'm going to go ahead and put in a little shard for some seasoning. And we're going to go ahead and get these beans to start simmering. I'm going to add a little bit of water, get it to simmer, and I'm going to cook it for about an hour and 15 minutes or until it is done. Alright, so our steamed greens are done. Let's go ahead and check these out and see how they look. Now look at that. That was easy. That took about five or six minutes and I didn't really do anything. And now I have this delicious plate of greens to add to my meal. Full of calcium, fiber, high in antioxidants, minerals, and vitamins. One of the best things you can do to get fiber and protein and good carbohydrates is to eat brown rice, lentils, split peas, and any kind of like barley or grains that you can find. I usually stay away from gluten free and I find that brown rice works great especially when I mix them with beans. So let's go ahead, I got it already done up here in this rice cooker and I just press brown rice there. I already had the water and the rice in there and now I just need to wait about an hour and it's gonna be ready. So here the food is finally ready. Everything is looking great and I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up.
so to sum up, steaming is the best method of cooking by far. It causes the least amount of nutrient loss, and if you have a rice steamer cooker, you can find a way to basically make the food cook itself. You'll find that food prepping is what takes the most amount of time and then cleaning up afterwards. But it's so much better for you than eating out, and in the long run, you're going to save time and money, and you're going to look better and feel better too. Well, I hope this has helped, and if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below and let us know how you like to cook and what is your preferred method of cooking. All right, take care. Frying is the absolute worst because it creates an oxidization, oxidation, oxidization, oxidization pro, pro, problem, problem.